Here's my proven system for making Square videos in Final Cut Pro. I'll show you the right way to make Square videos in Final Cut Pro, how to edit them and export them for Instagram and Facebook. And at the end, I'll show you how to make vertical videos and how to get these social media titles for free. Yes. Okay, in Final Cut Pro, go up to File, New, and then select Project, or press Command N to bring up the new project menu. Give it a name, Square Video, perfect. And if you don't see your options here, click where it says Use Custom Settings. And then under Video, select Square. And then under Resolution, select your resolution. We'll go for 1080 by 1080 and select your frame rate. That looks good. And rendering looks good and so does audio. If you want to do a Square Video that's bigger than 1080 by 1080, then you'll select Custom instead. And here you'll put in your custom dimensions. So let's go 2000 by 2000. There we go. And then you'll click OK. I'm just going to do 1080 by 1080. So I'll click OK. And we have a square project set up. Now we'll come back to this and I'll show you how to edit in here. But first I want to show you how to convert a regular video to square. Got this project here with a bunch of different videos in it. And the project itself, if we look at it, by going to the inspector, click on these three sliders over here. You'll see in the info, this is a 1080p or 1920 by 1080 project. What a lot of people do, and they shouldn't, is they click on modify here. Then they change video from HD to square and then press OK. That works OK, but you see it just took all the video and made it a little smaller to fit in the square. There's a better way to do that. So select the project, right click on it, and then select duplicate project as. Give it a name, call it square conversion. And now let's change video to square and make sure to check smart conform. What that does is Final Cut analyzes the video and finds where the main action is and it moves it and it recenters it so that it's in the middle of your square video. Then select your resolution and frame rate and click OK. Final Cut will analyze and make the conversion. And now we can open up that video project. There we go. And you'll see that we have a square video. All right, select that first video and then open up the inspector. If you don't see it, click this button with the three sliders and go to the video inspector by clicking on this film strip button and look under transform. You'll notice that the position has been moved to put that right in the center. Final Cut also did it for this video of these hikers. It put them right in the center. It also changed the spatial conform. If we go down, you'll see it says spatial conform fill. Before it was doing fit, see? But with fill, it fills up the entire square and then it automatically adjusted the position. Now, if they didn't get it quite right, you can always adjust it yourself, which I'll show you how to do in just a moment. All right, let's go back to our square video we made and then let's add a video to it. I'll select my clip and I'm just going to press E to add it to the square video. Let's take a look. Dang it, that's not what we want. But remember, we can change it in the spatial conform. So we'll select our clip and we'll go to the inspector and at the bottom, we'll change spatial conform from fit to fill or none. We'll use fill this time. And now the video fills up the whole square. It'll work for vertical video too. Here's a vertical video I have. I'll select it and press E to add it. And you'll notice these little black bars here on the left and right side. So select the video clip, go to the inspector, and at the bottom change spatial conform from fit to fill or none. Let's do none this time. Now we haven't resized our image at all. This is the full size image. And so we'll have to zoom out a little bit to get it just right. And then we can also tweak the position a little bit as well. I'm gonna reset all that by clicking this down arrow and reset parameter. And I wanna show you the difference between none and fill. So it's at none here, I'll select fill. And what that does is it now fills the video all the way across. So if I right click on the viewer and select transform, and then click on this button right here, we can see that the width of the video has been changed to fit in the square video. If we change it to back to none, you'll see this overlap here. So this is the whole video and now we can change the scale of it and we can move it around. And this video over here in the gray section on the sides, that's video that we won't see when we export. Okay, now if you don't like the framing of your shot, you can do a couple things. Select your clip and then go to the video inspector and you can change the position here with these position parameters. I'm just clicking and dragging down and up on it to change it. And let's do that on the Y as well. Let's bring it down just a little bit. Oh, not too much. There we go. And then I can also increase a little bit and zoom in on them. There we go. And now we'll pull them down. I can also do the same thing by right clicking in the viewer, selecting transform or clicking on this button right here that says transform. Now I can move the video around anywhere I want. I can also rotate it with this little control right here. And then let me zoom out a little bit, click here go to 50%. And now if I click and drag on a corner, I can change the scale of it. If I hold down shift and click on a side or top or bottom blue handle, it will change the scale. If I don't hold down shift, it will squish it or stretch it. If I need to go back to the very beginning, how it was the original settings, just click reset. And then when I'm all done, click done. 
All right, when I'm ready to export it, I can just press Command E to bring up the export settings. Go to settings, I'm gonna change format to computer and video codec to H.264 multipass better. And then I can also change my resolution if I want. We'll leave it at 1080 by 1080. And I'm gonna change action to save only. This is gonna export as a .mp4 file. And this will be great for uploading to Facebook, Instagram, and other social media sites. And I'll show you in a second how to set up that destination so you can quickly access it and don't have to make any changes with a keyboard shortcut. I'll click next and then I'll find where I want to save it and I'll click save. All right, so let's say I wanna reuse those settings. Click on the share destinations button up here and click on add destination. Click and drag export file to your left sidebar and then change format to computer and let's change codec to better and let's change it to the highest possible resolution in case we want to export something in a higher resolution. And I'm gonna set save only for action. Now I can right click on this and select make default. Then I'll close this window and from my project I can press command E It'll bring up the export window, and if we look under settings, you'll see it's all those changes we made, and it's saving as a .mp4, perfect for our social media sites. Then all I have to do is click next, and then save. Before I show you how to make vertical videos, I just have to know, am I doing a good job? Please validate me. <laughs> Did I answer your question? Is this helpful? If so, give it a like. Thanks. All right, if you're making square videos, most likely you'll want to make vertical videos as well. It's the same process. Press Command N to create a new project, give it a name, we'll call it Vertical Video, and under Video Format, select Vertical. Then select your resolution, let's go 1080 by 1920, set our rate, and if I need a different Vertical Video Format, I can use Custom as well. But I like this setup for us already, so I'll select Vertical, and we'll go to there, 1080, and then click OK. And now we have a Vertical Video project. Let's add our video footage here, we'll put in a 1080p, and a vertical video, and we've got that problem again, darn it. So we'll select it, we'll go to spatial conform, and we'll select fill, there we go. And this vertical video that I shot fits in here perfectly. And we can do the same thing for export. I'll press command E, we'll go to settings, and we're good to go. We've got computer, H.264 better, MP4, I'll click next, we'll call that vertical video, and click save. All right, let's say I want to convert this project to vertical video. Remember earlier, I showed you, you can select the project and modify its settings, but don't do that. Instead, right click, select duplicate project as, and then change video format to vertical. Let's change our resolution. And I want to include smart conform because then it will adjust and it will put the action in the center of my vertical video. We'll call this one convert vertical video and press okay. Final Cut will analyze it and work its magic and create us a vertical video. All right, it's done. So we'll open up that project. All right, now let's take a look. We've got everything centered, nice. Everything looks really good. Now let's add a title to this. Let's go to the title browser, click on this button in the upper left corner, and then go down here to social media thirds. Don't worry, if you don't have this yet, I'm gonna show you how to get it for free. And let's drag and drop this Instagram title onto our video here. And then let's go towards the end and I'm gonna press option right bracket to trim the title. And check it out. We've got this awesome Instagram title animated in just a few clicks. Let's customize it. I'll select the title and let's bring it down here into the ocean. That looks good right there. I can also change the size if I want or rotate it. I can select the text on screen and change it really quickly. Call it stupid raisins. There we go. And if I click on this title inspector here, I can customize a lot of different things. I can turn the build in and out off. I can change the icon, color, and size. I can also change the color of everything you see here. But I really like how it looks. It matches Instagram's color palette. I just wanna add a little drop shadow. So I'll turn up this opacity here, and we'll blur it a little bit, and we'll pull it away. And now you can see it kind of pops off the screen here. And here's what we've made. In just a couple minutes, we have a professional looking graphic. There's several more for other social media websites, including a custom one where you can add a custom image to that arrow area. I put these titles in my all-star pack. It's a collection of 99 titles, effects, and transitions for Final Cut Pro. It's worth $198, but I wanna give it to you for free. All you gotta do is click the link in the description. Happy editing.